Buckeye okay, football team has had great success with Cleveland Glenville products with names like Troy Smith, Ted Ginn Jr., and Dante Whitner, all former Tar Blooders. There's quite a pipeline to Columbus from Glenville High School, but the rest of the Midwest is also starting to reap the benefits of those fertile recruiting grounds, just like the Buckeyes have. Too many of them after that's the problem. Too many good ones. They get out to other places. Ted Ginn Sr., he's the man behind that, and he's the subject of a documentary that will air next Saturday, right here on 10 TV at 7 p.m. It's called Winning Lives, the Story of Ted Ginn Sr. And John Duffin, who put that documentary together, joins us right now, and I'm going to share with the folks, it's your first television experience right here. You wrote, you produced, you did everything but acted this thing, huh? Absolutely, and it was an honor, and I can't wait for folks to see it in a time where hype uh, is prevalent in society, and certainly as we know, Jeff, in sports, Ginn is about everything that is the opposite of that. There's no ego to it. It's about doing what he does every day with a deep commitment for these kids. It is so powerful. We've been seeing uh, some of the previews run uh, here on 10 TV throughout the weekend. Let's take a look at a clip right now just so the folks at home can get an idea of what we're getting into. Coming up uh, in my growth as a man and as a quarterback, you know, I wasn't the average kid that was going to, you know, uh, at first listen to instruction because I was led astray so many times. You know, growing up uh, in a situation where I thought that I was the best, you know, in ev in any and everything that I did, and it took that that kind of man to sit me down and tell me, "You are a great athlete, you are a great person, but there are still things that you need to address and you need to change." You can't say anything, you know, uh, other than you know, he's pretty much the prime, you know, example of a role model growing up where we are from. When I'm sitting down talking to somebody, I change places. I want to know how I have to put myself in their place and see how they feel and how would I feel if I was in their place. Do you know anything about their world? We talking about no kid left behind. Come on. <laughs> A lot of them left behind. No kid left behind. I tell you what, no viewer should be left behind on this uh, next week when it airs. It is, I mean, it is gripping. It is strong. I learned Thank a you. lot. You know, you can learn a lot. You got into it. Why? I know you wrote for the dispatch. You've done some other things. But why did you get into this facet of television? Yeah, I think like many of us, I was familiar with some of the things he was doing, amazing things, given the, the circumstances up there. So I was familiar with that. I do also PR for a NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series team, which is based out of Sandusky. Ginn was giving a speech. He does them here and there at a small African-American church in Sandusky. I went. He and I spoke and met back uh, in a back office at the church. And here we are a year and a half later. I'm sure that you learned plenty uh, when we're talking about what the subject matter is here in this it could be the farthest thing from football at, at a lot of points. That's, that's a great point, Jeff. It is, while, while sports is the hook and people are familiar with who he is, obviously great players, Ohio State, the pipeline, all of that, this, the real story here, the most important piece of it, is that this is not about sports. He is the uh, quintessential teacher of life lessons to these kids. And it's also not just about football or sports. Bear in mind, his teams at Glenville as a track coach, they won five consecutive state championships. So the tendency would be to focus on the sports or the boys. There are a lot of girls, and they are featured in the documentary, women, young women. He has impacted tremendously. He's a private guy, though, from what we know. How did you get on the inside there? We share a lot of the same uh, perspective in terms of society. And, and certainly, as you and I know, uh, it is sorely needed, the discipline, the respect, the humility, uh, and certainly where kids are concerned, the, the commitment. A lot of people will talk it. Very few at the end of the day will go beyond. Mm -hmm. And this guy lives it. He's not about the hype. As I said earlier, it's, there's no ego. There's no hype. He does what he does every day to better these kids. And it's amazing. When you see their interaction with him, whether it's in the locker room or anywhere else, eye contact it's amazing every eye is on him and you'll see some of that in a uh, in a key moment in the middle of the documentary well troy smith got national attention for the heisman trophy and i know this is getting national attention but you can at home say that you saw it here first winning lives the story of ted ginn senior next saturday 
right here, 7 p.m. on 10 TV. John Dolphin, thank you so much. For thank you, Jeff. Thank Thanks you for having me. We look forward to seeing that on 10 TV. Thank it you, It would be well worth the time spent checking that out. Good